Hello, my friends. How are you all doing on this warm August afternoon? Hello, Alizar. Hello, Benny. Hello, Cree. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Matt. Hello, Polina. Hello, Tamiki. I'd like to read you a story today that I found in the Stephen Knowles Library Media Center called Frog and Toad Together. It's a nice summer story. Why, frogs, what's the difference, you'll ask? And I'll say frogs have long legs. They like to hop. And they have smooth skin. Toads have shorter legs. And they like to crawl. Their skin is dry and bumpy. Let's begin our story. It's by Arnold Lobel. Oh, we have five chapters. First one, a list. And then the garden, cookies, dragons and giants, and the dream. We'll begin with the first chapter, a list. One morning, Toad sat in bed. I have things to do, he said. I'll write them all down on a list so that I can remember them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do today. Wake up. I have done that, said Toad, and he crossed out. Wake up. Then Toad wrote other things on the paper. Eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take a walk with Frog, eat lunch, take a nap, play games with Frog, eat supper, and go to sleep. There, said Toad, now my day is all written down. He got out of bed and had something to eat. Then Toad crossed out, eat breakfast. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. Then he crossed out, get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. He opened the door and walked out into the morning. Soon Toad was at his frog's front door. He took the list from his pocket and crossed out, go to Frog's house. Toad knocked at the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog. That is very nice, Toad said. My list tells me that we will go for a walk. All right, said Frog. I'm ready. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again, and he crossed out, Take Walk with Frog. Just then there was a strong wind, and it blew the list out of Toad's hand. The list blew high up into the air. Help, cried Toad, my list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Hurry, said Frog, we will run and catch it. No, shouted Toad, I cannot do that. Why not, asked Frog, because, wailed Toad, running after my list is not one of my things that I wrote on the list to do. Frog ran after the list. He ran over hills and swamps. But the list blew on and on. At last, Frog came back to Toad. I am sorry, gasped Frog, but I could not catch your list. Blah, said Toad. I cannot remember any of the things that were on my list of things to do. I will just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. Frog sat with him. 
After a long time, Frog said, Toad, it is getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad wrote on the ground with a stick. Go to sleep. There, said Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. I hope you like that story. The next time we will do the garden from the book Frog and Toad Together. Bye for now.